I will share my feelings first since I'm the adult in the situation. Sad about it because I love Franco so much and he was my boy. I loved him so much. What's up guys? Uh, today is one of those days where it's kind of a sad day all around. Uh, and a happy day too. Um, my nephews are going home. They're gonna, which is nice for them. They get to be the, with their friends at home, right? That's with Kai and Brennan. Uh huh. Yeah, your friends from home. What's up, guys? It is Tara from Smelly Belly TV. We just got done. We just got done at Ada's ortho appointment. She had to get her braces adjusted. And now we're off to lunch. We're gonna have some girl time. Uh, today's gonna be sort of a sad day for us. So sorry if we're not all upbeat and energized. Jesse is on his way to bring his family to the airport, first of all. So we have to say goodbye to all of our Minnesota fam bam. So Jesse's over there with them. He's gonna be vlogging about why we're giving Franco away. Some things happened. I'm not sure if he's gonna get into detail with you guys of why we have to give him away, but I'll let him kind of explain that. Franco is going to be leaving us. We're super, super sad about it. Franco needs to get a new home because he's had um, two incidents with younger kids, and um, he also ch chases the cats too. And he just needs a family that maybe has some older kids and um, someone that has more time to give to him. Uh, more attention because we have to share our attention with five animals right now and most of them do fine but Franco is struggling there so we want to give him to somebody that's going to be able to give him a better home he, and don't get me wrong Franco is an amazing loving kind dog but he just does not do well with little kids but he's gonna go to a better home that can take care of him better than we can and that's that so that's happening in our life. We've had a really crazy week this week. So I'm just happy to be having some downtime, relaxed time with my girlies back there. We got Rory, Ada, JJ, and we had a crisis on the way yes, here. Yes, I'm like shaking still. There was a cockroach in the car. Yes, and I literally was up here. She was up on the dashboard hiding from like, us. I was literally like this, oh no! She and was... I just ran up here and I was like, no, please, no. Since we live near the beach, sometimes a cockroach might get hidden in our beach gear and then it ends up in the car and it's just, ugh. So I'm gonna bring the car in today to get scrubbed and vacuumed head to toe. <laughs> and crisis number two is happening right now. We are low on fuel. We have zero miles and we have to make it to a gas station. I don't know if we're gonna make it. We made it to the gas station. We're all starving, it's 12.30. I've not even had anything to eat yet. Me either. So we got to go grub. Let's go get some grubs. Yeah, let's go. So the girls really, really wanted to eat at Metro Diner, but I told them we cannot cheat on their dad. We're saying goodbye to pretty much the whole entire family right now, and Franco. And I wanted to let you guys know that uh, we talked to the French Bulldog Rescue, and they said it was pretty normal for Franco's age to be acting in such a way um, and that you know he'll be he'll be better off with uh, with a family that has a little bit more time. We've just been traveling so much, and um, even though we have people to watch him, uh, it's still probably pretty hard on him. So we're gonna give him a better home. I think that's the best thing that we can do. When you can't take care of something, you just kind of have to admit it and move on and do what's best for everybody in the situation. And even though it's really sad, and I'm gonna miss Franco a lot. I know that he's gonna be in a better place and so will people that come and visit us. I hope that made sense. I think I said so and everything and a lot, a lot. Scarlett, I'm gonna miss you, honey. Can I have a hug? Oh, I love you so much. I'm gonna miss you. Hop on down, good girl. Okay, go to the side. Victoria, can I get a hug bye? Can I have a hug and kiss bye? You're going back to Minnesota. Have a hug. 
I love you. I want to be with you, Uncle, uh, Uncle Jess. I want to I wanna be, be in Minnesota with you. You want to be in Minnesota with me? Yeah. I live in Florida, though. Bye, Justin. I can't carry this. Yeah. Can I have a hug goodbye? I love you, buddy. I miss you. Ethan? Yo, my man, give me hugs. Uh, love you, bro. Kingston, can I get a hug bye? Can I have a hug? Oh, you'll give me one? I love you, man. Have fun on the airplane. I'll miss the bellions. You're gonna miss the bellions? Aw. You'll be back soon. See you later. See you later, bud. Bye. Bye. All right, I gotta say goodbye to my bro. Bye, buddy. Love, love you. you. Love you too, man. Bye. Right, love you too. See you I'm later. Gonna cry. Smelly bellions. I'm gonna Stinky. Cry. <laughs> yeah. Well, buddy, I guess it's just you and me, partner. And you're leaving me too. And eat at Metro Diner without him. That would be mean. You guys ate at Metro Diner without me. We're not gonna do that. I've been wanting to try this new place called Nona Blue, which is right across the street from Metro Diner, but Jesse never wants to eat there. So now I get to do what I want and eat where I want today. Yay, I'm so happy. And I already looked at the menu and it looks amazing. I cannot wait to get some good grub here. Let me say something. Rory said she likes it because it has this kind of door. Oh, the spinny door? Yes. All right, let's take them through the spinny door. It says proceed with caution. All righty. Ready? We're going in. All right, woo, we made it, guys. Rory, was that so much fun? <laughs> First up, we have housemate salsa. Ada Bear, is that treating you good? Was it yum yum? Mm -hmm. Yum yum in the tum tum. for some dessert and shopping. Shh, don't tell Jesse. Yes, there's lots of little shops around here where we just had lunch, so of course, we got to go shopping, right? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? All right, let's do it. Of course, we have to come to the makeup and skincare product store. This is my weakness, the cold in here. <laughs> okay, so we did get some back to school things. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Right there, we're not gonna tell you what it is because we're gonna do a back to school haul on It's Just JJ. So really? make sure to go and subscribe to It's Just JJ Hit that notification bell so you know when she posts next. Yeah, girl, we're doing some back to school fun over there. <laughs> Time for chocolates. <laughs> Come on, Rory, go in. <laughs> You're silly. Rory. What? Look at, look at mom. I have, to, I have to tell you something. That nice lady gave you all that chocolate for free. Can you say thank you? Look it. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Who wants to go check this mail? <laughs> we are gonna hit up our post office box, check this mail, and definitely we will be reading one piece of mail. So remember, whenever you send in your fam mail to us, make sure to make your packaging stand out with lots of stickers and decorations and just be creative and have fun with it because the more it stands out, the more likely we will be opening it up. Whoa, that's a lot of mail. Franco, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I love you. You're gonna go to a good home, okay? All right? One where you'll feel a lot better. And everybody will feel better, okay? Can I have a kiss? Go a kiss? Mm -hmm. I love you, buddy. I love you. I know you're gonna find a good home, okay? What do you have on your hand? They're called scrunchies. What is that? Scrunchies. <laughs> you got scrunchies on your hands? Can I have one? Psh. All right, punch you. Oh, don't punch me. <laughs> hey, that's not nice. Be a share bear. Yeah. At least share one item off of your thing. No, I want I want a scrunchie to put my hair up for later. No, you already have your hair up. I don't want to put it, my, put it up for later. This is crunchy. Okay, so I can use this, I can wear it. All right, good good girl Thanks. for sharing. She shared with you, be happy. Put my finger. 
All right, now share with everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you'll give Ada a scrunchie? And I'll give two of her. <gasps> oh, oh, you gave two you. to Aubrey? <laughs> wow, that was really nice. <laughs> what about two to Haley and I don't even get one? <laughs> and you gave some to Haley? Oh, wow. Whoa, Tara. I made it back home and really guys it's been a pretty emotional day I think for all of us. Not only did we have our family leave, but Franco also left our family today and I'm just going to get everybody's thoughts on it. I will share my feelings first since I'm the adult in the situation. I'm really sad about it because I love Franco so much and he was my boy, I loved him so much. but. For whatever reason, it just wasn't working with him in the house because I don't really know why. It just like, Diesel and him always had arguments, <laughs> dog arguments, and he didn't get along good with the kitties, and he did have two accidents with two younger children. And unfortunately, even though we love him so much, he's gonna be better off with another family that can give him the attention that he needs because he obviously did need more attention than what we could give him. And sometimes you just have to admit that, admit that, so that way everybody can be more happy. Stop shutting off the lights, Rory! <laughs> My thoughts on giving away Franco is I'm actually very happy for him because I feel like he's gonna go to a really good family that can give him enough attention and care that he needs and I'm just really happy for him. And I'm also very sad that he had to leave because I love him so much and he was a really good dog. And he's gonna be a really good dog to someone else out there, but he just wasn't the great fit for us. Ada says she doesn't got anything because it's just gonna make her cry. Ada is the most so. one of the family, guys. You know this already. Are you sure you don't got anything? Yeah. She doesn't want You don't to. want to talk about Franco? Nope. No. Are you sad that he's gone? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Me too, baby. It's okay. Rory, what do you think about Franco being gone? Are you gonna miss him? Rory, what do you think about Franco being gone? Are you gonna miss him? <laughs> Ro, Ro, what do you think about Franco being gone? How do you feel about it? Uh, like, I like this. You miss him? I still like Diesel and Enzo. You still like Diesel and Enzo? <laughs> To brighten up our day, we are going to read a piece of smell sent by you guys because I really feel like we all need a little bit of light in our life right now. <laughs> so the first item of smell that we're going to be reading, we got um, some squishies and a fidget, a fidget, a fidgeter. A fidget. Ada likes these. You like fidgeties. Oh my gosh, mash them. <laughs> and you got to mash them. Wow, that was so for nice. You too? This is for Tara and Jesse. That's for us, baby. Oh, it's our own squishy. Does it smell good? It doesn't it does. smell like anything. It smells like chocolate chips to me. Really? Yeah. It smells like a chocolate no, chip. No, it smells candy. like what a stuffy smells like. Mm, but we or have what our a own squishy. squishy. Smells like. yeah. We have our own squishy now. I was so thoughtful. Whoever sent this knows that Ada likes steamed dumplings and sent her a squishy of a steamed dumpling. Give That's got to be hard to find. Look at this. So satisfying. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna read the letter. Like fidget cube. Who's the fidget cube for? Um, it doesn't have a name on it. I'm just gonna guess it's for me. It's the community. Oh, it's the community. It's the community oh. fidget cube. We gotta have a community you fidget, fidget and cube. then you pass it down. Okay, so we each got a book addressed to us, and I'm going to explain what this means in her letter, but we're gonna read these privately just for our own selves off camera. So, she or he, I don't know yet, actually says, Dear Smelly Belly, I gave each of you a book that describes what I see in your vlogs. Tara and Jesse sees a ghost. Jayla, a woodwind wedding. Ada, a treetop festival. And Rory, a warm hearted day. So, thank you so much, Ava, for sending us this smell and our books. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. And we all have personalized cards as well. You are such a sweet pea. Thank you so much for being a smelly bellion. We will keep you on our hearts forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Tara's about to cry. It's just so sweet. We need air. <laughs> we need air, Rory. <laughs> <laughs>
They need air. They need air. <laughs> we need air. Thank you, Ava. It's happy tears. Happy tears. Huh? Oh, yeah. We need the air. Thank you, Ava. It's just nice to get sweet things when we've had a hard day. What does it say? Oh, it says, he gave me mashers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a mashers. Mm -hmm. Here's what it really says. Whoa! Hi, Rory, you're the cutest little girl I have ever seen on YouTube. Aw. How does that make you mash feel? She gave you a mashem, huh? Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, and remember, we will see you in the next one, and we will be in full spirit force. Full spirit force. And you better to eat your pickles, kids. Eat your pickles, kids. Bye. I love you guys. Click up here to see yesterday's video. Click up there to see more vlogs. Click up there to subscribe. And also click over there if you're feeling spicy. Also check out our you now, Musically, and Instagram. You can always find us under Smelly Belly TV. As always, YouTube.